Hi everybody, Nancy Lodi here. I'm a cross Cross-Synology Brain Integration Practitioner in Boston, Massachusetts. And today what I'd like to talk about are mantras. Mantra is a really interesting word uh, that you hear a lot more these days. What is a mantra and why are people using it? A mantra is a series of words um, that you repeat that gets you into a meditative state. The reason why you want to be in that meditative state is that life is easier when you're in a flow and you can actually create some things in your life uh, that you want to have. So earlier this week I was very frazzled and I was running around like crazy and my health began to decline because I was so stressed and I wasn't taking time for myself. And so I sat down with myself in meditation and I thought, what are the qualities I want to expand? What do I really want to feel like? And I realized I wanted to feel calm, brave, focused, and strong. Those are the four words that came to my mind. So I used them as a mantra. And I just said in my head, calm, brave, focused, strong. And going throughout my day, I started to use it more. In the morning, I repeated it several times, but then as a reminder, when I was in tra traffic was the best time, when I said calm and then brave, and you can add other things here, resourceful, strong. So mantra is a way to use your mind to create a state that you like. Uh, athletes do this all the time. They use music a lot to get them in a space where they're in the zone. When you're in the zone, you compete well, you perform well, you have a lot of fun doing it. Um, everybody wants to be in the zone. So mantras are some tiny, tiny little technique. They are a tiny little technique that you can use to put yourself in a zone. So ask yourself a question. What do I want to feel like? Not how am I feeling now, but what do I want to feel like? Pick three or four words and start to repeat them over and over again. You'll find that it comes a little, becomes a little hypnotic, which is when that brain is starting to be pliable uh, and you can actually make and change the grooves in the brain, going from a negative situation to a positive situation. So that's a little step about how you do it. Remember, I'm not a doctor, so you have to do your own research, but I hope this helps and you're having a great day.